Good morning, good evening, good night, friends. It's me, me. Um, so we're gonna play a little more Baron Breakfast. I figured out exactly what it was with the bathroom situation um, in the game. <laughs> uh, and, it, and it looks like I just got ahead of myself. Apparently, um, it will allow me to build the bedroom without the bathroom. And then I gotta talk to the shark. So we'll see if it'll allow me to go that route because it looked like I had to have the toilet to build what I needed to in the motel. But everything I'm finding online says that I should be able to build the bedroom, go talk to the shark, and then build the bathroom. So I may have skipped something, I may have messed myself up, I may have to start a new save file, um, which would I hate to do if there's no other way to get the toilet because we did get this far already. But we shall see. Uh, we're going to give it a good try. If not, we'll maybe play something else later today. We shall see. Um, but that's where we're at. We're also testing to see if the desktop audio sounds a little better in this recording based uh, around what I was hearing last time. Uh, and that whether or not I'm loud enough for you guys to hear. So let me know in comments if you feel like I've got a good level. For the video and the sound because while it sounds okay on my end um i want to make sure it sounds okay on your end too so let me know let me know how you're liking this series i'm enjoying bear and breakfast i also got a new friend look at him isn't he cute little dapper guy so i got him for a two-fold situation i uh i do like squishmallows i'm not a huge a large collector of squishmallows i do have a couple of other ones you can see another back here behind me. Um, Halloween is a big thing for me. So the Halloween ones were definitely a pickup, but I am also a huge mermaid person. And so ocean creatures are definitely a thing I enjoy. And so this little guy um, fits that mold, the Squishmallow and the ocean creature, but he also has a name. I don't know that you can see that. Um, well, E... E I K O and my username for years on most games and uh, and online situations has been E K I O. So he, this dapper gentleman, just had to come live with me. So he's hanging out over here with us today. He's watching me play a little bear and breakfast. And if this mic situation with the sound, to go back to that because you know bunny trails. That's how we roll. If the uh, mic situation doesn't work better for me with the omnidirectional mic that I'm currently using, I may switch back to wearing headphones. I just don't love the headphone situation where I can't hear what's going on around me as well when I'm playing. Because I do live in a household full of other people, and that's how that works. Uh, so yeah, let's let's try to play a little Bear and Breakfast and see if we can get into that bathroom build and we'll go from there it's such a cute little animation down there with the loading pancake flip little flapjacks all right let's see if it will let me build this well we built a room so I wonder if we can book it we just don't have a bathroom so let's go see if we can book it because we don't have a bathroom Plus five and seven. Okay, so we've assigned a visitor who won't be here till tomorrow anyway. And let's go see if we can learn about our uh, bathroom needs. Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? Press the green button. I've got a guest on the way. Astounding, they're in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Sure. Because our premium, de because of our premium desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to benefit our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting who. That's right, water. It's mutual exploitation a thing. Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. 
Can you guess what the next step is? You sure use a lot of words to say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. And again, if in the rewatch you guys find that the sound for the desktop audio for our our game is too loud, let me know. There is an underlying bus terminal sound, it sounds like, um, for the truck that is running next to the shark. So I have managed to kill the buzz that I was hearing, I do believe, um, from a fan nearby in the house that was underlying background sound, but I do also note, it, note that in this specific scene section and in this area, uh, there is an underlying bus running noise, like the engine noise. Um, so we'll, that to me is a little obnoxious. I play with most of my games, I play most of the time with the sound very down. Um, so that I can hear what's going on around me and that I can be aware of what's going on in the game, but I'm not overwhelmed by the amount of sound. Anyway, I digress. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe, rusted bathroom sink. You've unlocked a new crafting recipe, wooden shower recipe. Oh yeah, crappy toilet. Lucky guess. Okay, so now I have bathrooms. And see, the closer I am to that truck, the louder it is. So we're going to go over here. Bathrooms introduce a new type of score, hygiene. Bathrooms have an area effect around them that applies to the hygiene score of all nearby bedrooms. You can see the area affected by a bathroom will go into build mode, selecting a room. Higher level bathrooms have a larger area of effect for their hygiene score. Increase the level of bathrooms by placing higher level bathroom objects. Different guests have different hygiene requirements. Okay. So we're going to build a bathroom during our guests stay here. So let's craft a couple of things. Um, let's see. We need a crappy toilet. Build one of those. A wooden shower and a rusty bathroom sink. So that we have one of each. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to build a hygiene room. It has to be three by three, so we're going to just make it I can't remove this tile. <sighs> okay. Exit that because I hit the wrong spot. I need to start in this corner so I know how far over I'm going. I keep doing that. I start from where I think I need. I don't need to do that. So I'm going to make a long skinny bathroom. I can essentially put two rooms with a bathroom in the middle, most likely across the floor, and get four bedrooms with two bathrooms. What do y'all think? Yeah, we're just going to do communal bathrooms. Everybody's favorite hotel stay. <laughs> Ugh. So we've got a bathroom, we have a sink, and we have a shower. Mm-hmm. That is a delightful bathroom right there. I'm, I'm loving the shabby chic that we've got here. I don't have enough mon fun money to do this right now. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to have to go collect from the other space, which is fine.
my guest has arrived here. And he's not going to have a bathroom. And now I have money. Let's go back to the A24. Is the money only tied to that area? No. Okay, fine. We're gonna go create a bathroom. Boy, howdy, is it windy down here? That's a new weather pattern for us. Okay, so my dude went in to check in. And he's okay at the moment, which is fine. We're gonna build his bathroom real quick so he's not, like, freaking out on me. 225. Okay. Okay. Build it. Cool. And now we can escape because he has, he has a bathroom. It's like mooching off your own future. See, and this is another reason I don't like to play with game sound as high, is now I have all this beautiful, this wind in the background, which is a beautiful game sound. It's very well built. But it's extra noise. Alright, there's bathrooms now. Amazing. Now that your guest needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable. Taking some time off. Repression. That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customer motivation towards your product, product is a key detail of modern marketing. You're doing the thing again. Why would anyone stay in this scum hole? I put a lot of work into this place. That's right, running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn shop debt collectors? Yourself. That's a little dark. Which is a perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities. A bar. That's worse. Not just any bar, a taste of a sophisticated establishment. A distillery. So now we know how to make a beer tap and a bar stool and a bar. How refined. Okay, so we're gonna make a bar. Okay. Some guests want a distillery specifically. Got it. So they want a distillery in the motel. So we're we're probably not going to have enough money to do this, which is fine. Let's see what it costs. Four hundred. Definitely not going to have the money to do that today. That's okay. He hasn't requested it. Um, Cause I only have one hundred and thirty-three. But we have three people staying at the other location. So a bar tap we can build. Wooden stool we can build. We're going to build four of those. And a wooden bar. That way we have at least the supplies already ready when we do build the bar. Not really sure what he was just doing, but he totally just threw crap in the floor. So, thanks, bro.
I'm just totally taking this thing out of your house. Sorry, dude. Oh, I can fix this. Let's go ahead and fix it. I hit the wrong button. One extra guest per day in this area. Nice. I used a lot of my stuff, but that's okay. Definitely not the way to go. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing but pavement from here. I haven't walked on this road because I assumed it was blocked. It's interesting. Of course, I haven't really looked at the map here yet either. Doesn't look like there's much. Okay. So I'm not missing much. Alright. Oh, somebody has a quest. You seem like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted? I've been known to occasionally look away in the dis distance. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. You think these lands are young. You are greener than the crudest sapling. There's nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Fine, I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets. Did you just call me a something? I hope for your sake they're not empty. You wouldn't happen to know anything about all humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? Uh, I might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dead, dreadful blaze. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain. As if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might not be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. Something that that old diner was a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. So now I have a new job to do. Bet it's nighttime. Let's go look at the diner. Tony's Construction Service, welcome to the A24 Diner. Would you like to repair it? Yep. Step one, clear out any debris and garbage inside the structure. I did that already, right? I did, I did, I did. Tony's Construction Service, structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yep. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, copper plates, porcelain chunks, and glass panels. Okay, um, looks like I have that all. They're all there. Get your butt to work. I now have a diner. Interesting. I don't know any cooking recipes. Okay. What's he gonna do? He's gonna eat sit down and enjoy some food, and I'm gonna go clean up his mess. Pause, please. Okay. Had to pause for a second. 
and, and I say second, and it very obviously has been for a little longer than that. Let me go back over here and tell him that his precious diner is open again. How's the diner repair going? Going, going, gone. I mean, done. You should know, child, there's nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. They know nothing of this world, yet they consume it. The dark spirit will be angry with their return. Sir. Sir. You really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes, which of course they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Or scavenge like rats. I don't suppose you've had any uh, bad dreams lately? No, none. I sleep like a baby. Technically, I work 24 7. I think I've slept once. <laughs> yeah, a big, honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's told. And there's no one to tell her yes or no. Okay, so we built that up, and it is gold. We're gonna see how that helps. He's not in here, so he's not in here making a mess. I don't see any garbage. How are we doing on funding? Um, he's still here, right? We should probably go up and check on the other things. And we're still going to be low on money, right? Yeah. Because we still only have 133. Okay. So let's go travel up to... the town and see what we can do about that. Our um, visitors seem happy. That's a good thing. One of our visitors has checked out. So what I will do, I will go check and see if we can get somebody else added. Right, so I have a five plus 23. I have no guest requests. Five stars so far, okay. I have no guest requests. Okay. Well, I can't get anybody to stay tomorrow. That's okay. Nothing in there. Just trying to see if there's anything extra there to do. There is a quest at the placard. Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location, also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for another two guests in Timber, timber Crossing. Reward, a new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Sure. Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. All right, so I've got two guests staying right now that are extra. And I wonder if that will help looking to make sure there's not any trash floating around that I need to clean up. It's also a good time to grab supplies.
The other low hum we might hear in the background of my videos may very well be my computer itself. I can hear it. I don't know if everybody else can. Uh, so we'll see how, if you guys can hear that. But again, just let me know. We're, we're just doing some testing in, in part of these runs. Seeing what we can fix and what we can't fix as far as sound quality. Whoop. One guests have completed their stays, 156 coins. Nice. Eh, okay. I never know exactly how much of this I'm going to need at one point, so it's just easier for me to collect a bunch than have to come up here and collect it when I want to do a task. Since our pockets seem to be decent. I wonder if I put the hat on, does that help keep from scaring the bears? Yeah. scaring the people as much, you know what I mean? Like if I look more like a human, does that keep them from being as scared? Cause right now I'm just a bear, a bumbly bear, rolling around without a care. What else can we collect today? I got a 10 and 12 and a 5 and 23. And I got requests. 8 and 2. 3 and 2. 4 and 8. Might do the Blanche. There we go. Now we've got requests set to accepted for three new guests, keeping this one occupied. It should get us a decent amount of funding. Let's see. Let's get... Do we have buses to everywhere? I wish it told you on here. Because if I currently have a bus stop everywhere, there's no need for me to buy another bus sign yet. I think I do. The light. There's no there's not one in Black Moss. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I want to go over and explore these places. Let's go to A24. Let's go gather some more materials. We're gonna go roll the dump, because we got a visitor at the moment.
gather supplies. Can we get all the way through down here? Is there extra stuff that we have in the back? I guess not. I thought it might be interesting to see. hiding out back there. do very much appreciate the ability to rumble through the dump and find a lot of extra supplies. Looking forward to finding out some more fun things we can do as we expand these areas. to be evening again. The days do pass fairly quickly and the fact that you don't like run through energy makes it easier for me to just kind of grind through some of this stuff which is great. snake sounds every so often in the background crack me up. Like I'm totally gonna run across a rattler out of here. What you got going? Let's see if we can build our bar. We built our stuff for our bar. We just need to see about building a bar. We do not have enough yet. That's fine. We'll get there. He's asleep, so there's nothing garbage-wise floating around I need to clean up in here, which is important. I need to check and make sure he's not got garbage floating around in here. Make sure we keep our places clean, sir. Clean. Like, I know fast travel is a thing. We're also exploring the ability to just pick everything up. Let's go into the swamp, see if there's anything over there we can do. Because it's creepy fun, right? I Okay, do you see that? Do you see that layering? Like, this is gorgeous to me. Look at, look at the log. Look at the tree stump underneath the water. That, that level of detail, like it could just be swampy mucky color the whole time. That level of detail. That's delightful. I don't know why I need these at the moment, but they might be useful somewhere. What you do in Charlotte? Youth potions are no longer acceptable. Something about ethically sourcing the ingredients. Okay. 
Yes, ma'am. What else can I grab from in your swamp? Right? What what else is hiding in here? There's moss all over it. Well, I would assume so. It's in a swamp. trying to see all the different ways, and it's really hard right now at night to see the different directions and where I could and couldn't go in this swamp at the moment. I can't get through there. I can't. Okay. Old bridge to nothing. The swamp is a maze. Which is fine. But more stuff to clean up. Ooh. Oh, I can fix that. Cool. Nice. I fixed that. Cleaned up that pathway and now I can get around a little easier. Very cool. Useful, helpful, on my way. So I could see... I could see, uh cleaning up more locations like that sorry I got a little distracted there um, I could see cleaning up locations like that having an assistant spot something helpful got anything for bathrooms, dude? Let's go see if there's anything in the dumpster for bathrooms. Right? Like, I feel like there was. Okay. I, th I think I got that towel rack before, but that's okay. I've got this towel rack. Oh, I've got a janky bathroom mirror. No, that's probably fine. I'm gonna put the bathroom mirror and the bathroom towel in the motel. Let's travel to the A24. And then I'm probably gonna call it at about a 45 minute hour, a 45 minute game stream, uh, game video, just because I don't want to burn you guys out on bear and breakfast and I know that it's a lot of little grindy things so we shall see let's just go to the inventory and put a bathroom towel on the wall and a mirror turn it this direction over the sink that'll work Man, that, that thing's huge in comparison to the bed. That's so funny to me. Okay. Yeah, I've got all my furniture items set up. And I'm gonna put these in the bar. So, that should be good. 
That'll help with his stay, too, because he'll like the extra decorations. You like my pretty decorations? Okay. Nothing new in this dumpster. It's going to be the same. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um... Yeah, that's fine. And I don't have enough money yet to build a distillery. Okay, so we're going to call it there. We will uh, come back next time to build a little bit more with our bear. Actually, let's, let's go to sleep and see... If we can build the distillery before the next five minutes. I don't think we can, but we'll see. Can only sleep at night. Yeah, no, I figured that much. All right, three guests arrived, two guests have completed their stays, 637 guilt, and two new stay requests. Yes! We are, um, we're going to build a distillery real quick. Four by five. Okay, we're gonna build a distillery on this side down here. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay, we're just gonna build a pub down here. Has to be four by five. Mm, that's six. Four by six. Mm. Okay, we're going to put a bar in. Mm. I can't put them, I can just put them on the floor? No thank you. fussing about. Why can't I create the room? My work. Oh, the window. That's fine. We now have a bar in our motel. Interesting. Okay. That kind of ruined my aesthetic of like room, bathroom, room, bathroom, room. But it'll be okay. That'll be fine. We've built. Now let's see who can stay at the front desk. Might be tempted to recommend it. Thanks, Elvin. Eight and five. What does my room look like? Five and nine. Five, nine, and nine, right? Ellie would be okay. 
Angela would be okay. We're gonna put you in that room and that'll be fine. Awesome. Let's go see the shark. Eh, we're gonna go to 50, it'll be fine. Participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise Program to create a way of any claim for participants' personal injury. That's nice. Or wrongful death. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment as the premier watering hole in this entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As we near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make our rigorous standards make sure our rigorous standards are met, obviously. We have new things to buy. For that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. But, what you got? Oof. Cushioned footrest, small vanity, del rustic delight bed. Okay. I want this. And I guess we're gonna upgrade across the board. It'll be fine. We'll be broke. It'll be fine. What's it cost to make these things? Oh, I need to learn them first. Hold on. We're going to escape inventory. We're going to learn. Learn, learn, learn. Alright, let's see what it costs to make these things. Rustic Delight bed. We're going to upgrade the bed. And give them a vanity and a footrest. Oh, I, I need to make a cushioned foot rest. Sorry. Sorry. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna place a couple things. We're gonna take this bed and we're gonna we're gonna put it over here for a minute because we're gonna put you a nice new bed in there. Where'd that nice new bed go? What? You're not allowed here. Oh, all right. How do you remove it? There we go. That's better. All right. That'll work there. Okay, we've upgraded the room. Look how nice and cozy it is. Give me more money. Uh, do I have enough money to build another bedroom? Because I 10 out of 10 will build another bedroom. And maximize this stay. No. 200. Okay. Alright. We will, um... We'll be back. So we need to go up here to the sign. Timber crossing, here we come. And then we'll call it. Clear this quest. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you guys. I am so sorry. Yes. 
Congratulations, you have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. I, re I retrieved all of the pants. And to offer a higher payout in return. Cool, so we're going to go to the inventory. We're going to put some pants on. Because we're, um, we're trying not to scare our new compadres. They all went to take a nap. That was very strange. Gonna hide out over here. Nope. Nope. Don't come this way. Okay. Upgrade the bed just a little bit. Five and two. What's this one? Five and four. Yeah, we're going to upgrade the bedroom just a little bit. I don't know how this is an upgrade from that, because that looks better than this, but what else? That's fine. Okay, and we've upgraded all three of the rooms to a decent amount of stuff, and that should be good there. Okay. Clean up some trash. You have a new quest for me, and then we'll, go, we'll close out. You must now successfully complete the following. Raise the prestige level to three in Timber Crossing. Would you like to accept this job? Yes. I'm not gonna move. Oh, we already have that. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Further improvements available. You must now successfully complete the following. Get three five-star reviews. Yes. I need to get three more five-star reviews. Cool. Okay. We have, we've got quests that need time. And so some of that is just going to be gameplay. So we are going to uh, pause our game here. End for the day. And I hope you guys have had fun with this episode of Bear and Breakfast with me. And again, let me know in the comments if you're liking this series, uh, how the audio is working out for you, if this today's is better than it has been in the past, uh, or if it's about the same. I'm going to switch some things up again if I need to, uh, but we're, gonna, we're just going to give this a try for a couple of times, and then we will see. Um, I'm not likely going to play Disney Dreamlight Valley on this channel because I'm not one of those people who's going to push to try to get everything done as fast as possible and for me Disney Dreamlight Valley is more of a quest and grind game like this game there's enough going on that right now that there's a little bit here and there you guys can see the, the progress but for me Disney Dreamlight Valley is just going to be about designing and enjoying the progress of the game I like quests I enjoy quest modes and so that's something that I play for me now I will probably play some more Animal Crossing at some point soon I have thoroughly neglected my islands and while I typically play in hard mode to begin with I haven't really done a hard mode island and I may switch my um, my second island to a hard mode island and just not start fresh just continue doing this but only do like the trading days on certain days and um, only do certain excuse me certain things but the uh, barren breakfast will continue I'll probably do a little bit more in brick tales I think I've gotten that one is to a point where it's kind of it's kind of grindy as well, and it's hard to watch. Like if I were streaming and you guys were you know talking to me the whole time, we'd probably have a little more fun with it. But it is definitely a grindy game. And then I do have Cult of the Lamb, 
and we can pick that up. I have Don't Starve Together, which I haven't tried, but I've been wanting to play that. I need to pick Dinkum back up. So we definitely uh, have some things to play with, and I hope to see you next time. So if you like this channel and you like what's going on here, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out. It helps me get you more things in progress. And then if um, you have any comments or any thoughts on these videos, please just comment down, down below. I would love to hear back from some of my viewers and see what you guys like and even what you don't like because I can always update and change as I go. And I hope you're having fun with me playing games. Thank you so much for playing with me today and we'll see you next time.